Los Angeles is a wonderful place to live and work. There's a vibrant legal culture here. There's a lot of comparisons between Los Angeles and the other major markets. And Los Angeles' rents are not as high as some of the New York, San Francisco, Palo Alto. Top tier firms are looking to change the way they do business. They're looking for a different look. They want something a little bit more radical. We've seen two firms recently that have put first and second year associates in interior offices. That's a new trend. Because of who California is, I think there's more of a focus on health and wellness, and I think we are leading with that. The emphasis on profits per partner is incredible. Every firm, every law firm is hyper-focused on their revenue, on their profitability, and on their profitability per attorney. For our top tier international law firms, it really only is downtown Los Angeles and Century City. Downtown LA, it's a 30 million square foot marketplace. It's a little less than 17% vacant. It does allow the easiest location to be able to recruit many of the top attorneys who live in the greater Pasadena area on the east side, but it does have sort of traditional office buildings. It's a very different market than Century City, which is a 10 million square foot marketplace. It's less than 8% vacant. There's only about 700,000 feet of vacant space. Century City has emerged as a very viable office submarket over the last 20 years. Firms that are focused in on either entertainment or private equity are generally moving or at least establishing an office in Century City. One, being close to their clients, and two, being close to where the attorneys who are in that business live. The driver between the two markets is access to attorneys, access to clientele, and that's why a lot of firms have offices in both marketplaces. From a percentage basis, I have clients cutting their space in half. Of the three ways you can house younger lawyers, one of them is doubling, another is opening, benching, and another is interior offices. The least political is providing interior offices and making your space more efficient. A lot of natural light is one of the primary features that firms are looking for when they're designing new space. A lot of glass coming in from the perimeter into interior offices and those interior offices have a lot of glass. One size office is very comfortable for the millennials. They're perfectly comfortable thinking they, there are two associates in an office and then when they evolve to partner status then they get an office all to themselves. But with all the firms that are building space we're seeing collaboration area in central points. Some firms have baristas. Health and wellness is making sure everybody's happy and collaborating and together and creating a culture and uh, every firm is, is trying to create that in their new space. Our technology has affected virtually everything about the way a law firm uses space. As uh, younger lawyers come into the workplace, they're much more technically proficient. They're used to working a different way, use of paper and therefore file storage. The library is essentially gone now. It's all online. The file rooms are either gone or going to be gone. Firms are gonna store their paper in the cloud. One of the most interesting things about law firm culture is the generational contrast. All these law firms need to bring in new blood, the very top talent. Technology is the biggest thing that's gonna drive the next 10 years. The pace of change, I think, is going to continue to quicken. The ability of attorneys to work more mobily will be the most impactful to how space is designed. I think a lot of people are going to start living in urban environments. I mean, you're seeing that in downtown Los Angeles now. I mean, the boom on the residential side is, is staggering. People are going to be migrating and living near their office. And so we're seeing a lot of our younger people living in downtown Los Angeles. That wasn't the case five, 10 years ago. But what's happening today and what's really exciting is that law firms are seeking to change the way they do business, but also in a certain way, seeking to change the way they look.